Did you find it? No, no, no. Did you find it? Did you find it? No, no, no. Did you find it? Did you find it? No, no, no. You ain't got a metal detector. Well, down here again, eh? It's like a beautiful day. Nice, um, nice sunny day. A few clouds out there, not much though. Probably about 20, 22 degrees, I reckon, at the moment. So, have a look at that. Pretty relaxing way to um, enjoy yourself, isn't it? Swinging a metal detector in this sort of weather. But anyway, let's see what we can get. Catch on the first one. You can see up the beach here how beautiful it is. Really nice. I'll show you down the other way. There's a few people out there walking around and the odd surfer. And the odd person swimming. It'd probably be nice in the water. Plane coming in, you can see that. Alright. Yeah, got a couple of signals here actually. Hopefully they're alright. Now I'll just grab me um me digging tool. Where were they? That one looks alright. Don't know about that one. Anyway, I'll go the good one first. Can I get it? Mm, this is not good. Just changed. It's in the scoop anyway. Can't hear anything. That's not it. Oh, hang on, there you go. That was weird. That wasn't the right numbers for that. It's sort of ringing up on me. They saw it, probably a 19 or something. And we'll take that, see what the others are. Right, oh, no. nothing in there. Sixteen, seventeen, solid. You're right. I got it. It's about there, I reckon. Got it. <laughs> What's this one? There you go. Not a bad little spill. 250. On their way to a coke. You should get warm out here. There you go. And that one is 1990 something or other, 1998 I think, or 9. Take that. Alright, good one. Let's keep going. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Beautiful colours. A lot of ants, but. Really pretty. Get off. All right. Next. See That was a decent sized shell when it was um, in one piece. Pretty cool, that. All right. So that way. Yeah. So I've just changed beaches because the other one was spent a lot of time there and didn't get much at all. So. Yeah, so we'll give this beach a try, see what happens. Hopefully there's something here. So I just dug this out of there. I thought it was a bottle cap, so I didn't video it. It's an old 10 cent piece bottle cap. So, there you go. Things are looking up. Put that in the sun for you. Just keep at it. Bear with me for a sec. Here it is. Oh, it's not too bad. It's an oldie. Look at that. Yep. As you can see, it's a little bit of a, still a bit of a cut here. So I'm sort of working that, trying to um, see what's here. So 
better than the last beach. Alright, let's keep at it. Yeah, finally got a decent number here. Uh, 19, sort of 17 bit over the place. You never know. The way it's going, it's probably, um, could be more junk, but no, there's nothing else to dig, so you've got to dig them. Oh no, 2021, 20, that's not bad. Could be two bucks. Got it. Fingers crossed. Been going for probably three quarters of an hour. <clears throat> Can't hear anything. It's not a good sign, is it? What's that? Oh yeah. I'll take that. Hang on. Oh, it's a little um. I don't know what it is. Little bang, a bracelet thing, maybe. Very fine, very fine chain. A little stone in it. Can't see if it's got any writing on it. Oh yeah, might be something there. Fingers crossed. Can't really tell if it's um, silver or gold or what it is. It looks pretty good. Let's have a look. Look at that. We'll take that any day, won't we? Seeing as I've dug about, I don't know, don't know how many bottle caps or whatever, but you've got to have a bit of luck sooner or later, don't you? As I say, I don't know whether it's any good. It looks like it's got some writing on it, but I can't read what it is. Alright, that's great. Take that. Keep plugging away. Not decent. Down the fairway. Fingers crossed, eh? Sound like a two dollar coin actually. If it is, we've got our coke. Got it. Oh no. It's gone up to a um 23, 24 now, so which is more of a dollar coin if it's anything in the way of the coin. Where'd that go? Bit hard to find this one. Oh, there it is. It is two dollar coin. It's been there for a while too. All right. Any friends? Nothing in there anyway. All right, that was good. Keep at it. There's one. And there, if you look back, you can see where I dug back there. I'll get you around. So, hopefully, out there, I reckon. She's deepy. I felt that. You can see it. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about missed by that much. Look at it. Dollar coin. It's funny because the last one rang up as a 23, 24. This one rang up as a 21. And they're the opposite to what they should be. Gee, that's um, been there for a long time. Seems like the edges are sort of rounded. Anyway, I'll take that. Keep plugging away. Fill that in. Just wondering if um, any of the junk that sticks to the coin, maybe that changes the signal a little bit. If any of you know, just leave a comment and let me know. If I'm interested in that. Alright. Yeah, but it's a long way down. And uh, the numbers aren't bad, but then they turn to sort of crap. So I'll dig it. I'll get down a little bit closer and then I'll get his back on, save wasting too much GoPro battery. And, the numbers are still all over the place, so... I don't know whether it's a can, might be a can or something. It's 
running 35s back to 17s and everything so Oh no. Oh hang on. Let's have a look. Right. Here we go. Are oh, you kidding? <laughs> it's a two dollar coin. Where'd that go? Geez, that rang up some weird numbers, I tell you. Look at the colour of it. I thought I might have been digging a, a like a can or even a toy car or something, you know. That's the last thing I expected. All right. Let's see what else is there. If there's any friends. I think that's me scoop. No, that's all of it. Big noise for a coin. Mind you, I've got the um, sensitivity on 25, so I'm trying to go the deep ones. All right, so let him keep going. I'm doing laps along here, and I've just dug that two dollar coin out of there, and so I've gone up there and just turned around and come back, and there's where was it? There was something here. Weird numbers like that other one, so it could be the same, you never know. Anyway, we'll dig it, find out. It's strange how they get such high numbers. Well, the last one, anyway. I'll just talk you down touch so you can see. There's something there. Don't know where, but <laughs> hopefully I want it. Really high numbers. Any ideas? Don't know whether I'm on the right spot. I might just pinpoint it. in the back there. It's much over there. I'm getting closer. Good. <laughs> Hopefully I got it. It's hard to tell with all the, no all the chatter. Well, there you go. That's a... Uh, I suppose you could say that's a coin spill. <laughs> well, they're close enough to be one, so... There's a dollar. Really weird numbers, but... Put them in with all the junk on it, all the old stuff. And it's no longer gold, it's more um, copperish. Alright, let's see if there's anything else. There's a sale on at um, Harbour Town. <laughs> I'm going to let everyone know. Alright. <laughs> Another one here, but it's pretty deep. You see all those. Uh, these signals on the side here tell you how deep they are, so all you guys that medley tech know that, but I'll have a dig and see what it is. I'll get, wait until I get down a bit closer. Yep. It's looking like a two dollar coin actually. I'm looking so you'd be happy if it is. Just a, there it is. It is a two dollar coin. Get rid of that. Just shows, you know, like um, metal detectors don't go down that far. Um, well, you know, some of the good ones do. You can see the cut there. It's probably about oh, half a metre, I guess, and that's down another three scoops. So you'd probably just hear it if you had a good one. 
Like these equinoxes are pretty good. You know, they go down a fair way, but not that far, I don't think. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. All right, put that away, keep going. Yeah, you've got a target here somewhere. Say 26, maybe a toy car. Not very deep. What is it? Two down. Four inches. Mm, about there, I reckon. Yep, yeah, got it. It's right up here. Hang on. Yeah, I reckon it's more than likely. Tevis squares. Hello? Two bolt. Oh no. Whoa, that's different. What the hell is that? It's got to be a uh, key ring thing. Broncos member hotline. There you go. <laughs> I know they're going bad, but you wouldn't throw your uh, merchandise away, would you? I think they're starting to win, actually. There you go. That's a cool little find. All right, good stuff. Let's keep going, eh? Yeah, you got a number here. Where is it? 9, 10, 11. No idea. Maybe five cents. Or foil. And what is it? A couple down. Fingers crossed. Still there. Let's <laughs> be scoop. Okay, got a week for this one too. <laughs> Might just go a bit wider. Seem to always miss to the left. No idea. It's looking more like a five cent piece. Yeah, I got it. So, where is it? Hang on. Out there. Oh, God, it's hard shaking this stuff. Oh. Is that it? No, there it is. It's a <laughs> That's a beauty. It's been there for a long time, that one. Sun's just gone in, clouding over. It was really nice this morning earlier. It's not bad now still, good temperature. All right, take that, fill that um, crater in, and keep at it. So I just dug there, that 20 cent piece, and right here there's another one somewhere. Slightly better number. It's a long way down. I'll go there anyway, see what happens. Oh, here we go with the high numbers. I only remember, but a uh, couple of the $2 coins that I dug before were really high numbers for some reason. That one's doing the same. I'll take it if it's $2 coin, though. It's a long way down. Imagine these coins have been here for years, you know. I think I got it. Hopefully. Oh yeah, look at that. It's come up as a straight 21. That's not a $2 dollar coin, I'm a monkey's uncle. Come on, show your face. Where is it? Dropped it. Here it is. That's another good one. Oh, it's got the old green ring on this one. I actually collect these, all the ones with the rings on them. And um, I got one the other day, uh, it was a fireman one, on one of the other videos that we did, and um, they're worth a few bucks. I think they're worth about somewhere between six and probably 40 bucks, depends on the condition of it. Can't read really what that one is, but that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Take that. I was thinking the green was just the rubbish that gets on it over the years, but <laughs> there you go. <laughs> see, we've got a bit of green there, see? Alright, fill that in, keep going.
young fellow here decided to come over and see what I was doing, so I thought I'll give him a go. How's that? What's your name? Tom is my name. Tom. There you go, Tom. What's yours? Dave. Yeah. Yeah, he's still getting coins. Um, just the fives and ten cent pieces now. They're two dollar coins and one's uh, sort of died on their backside a bit. Anyway, whoops, throw that away. Keep going. <laughs> Bloody ten pegs are getting bigger. The size of that one. <laughs> Unreal. Alright. So I've got a small number here. Not very strong number either. I think the GoPro's getting ready to die. Been doing it for a while, been going for a few hours. Hoping I can get this before it goes off. I think I got it. It's a nine. Five cents is a ten. Here it is. You know, it's a five cent piece. It's just um, lost a bit of value over the years. <laughs> Alright, bag that and keep going. After we fill that in. Yep, just found the biggest car I've ever found. <laughs> it's massive. There you go, it's even got the golf clubs on the back. That's pretty cool. That's a golf buggy. Fantastic. Alright, that was a great finish. Just about to go. See you back there. Well, hello everyone and welcome to the wrap-up. Um, it was a really good day down there today. Had a lot of fun and um, ran into some really nice people on the beach. And um, it was just a really good day. Uh, anyway, let's go through this and see what we've got. Um, don't know what that is. It's just a bit of junk, I think. It's hard to sort of see what it is, but it's um, a piece of metal anyway. So it did ring up on the on the thing. We got um, over 14 bucks in coins. As you can see, they're, a lot of them really old, you know. But um, take anything. Got some, that's the biggest tent peg I've ever found. <laughs> the size of that. And this little car, what a cracker that is. It's got golf clubs and everything on the back of it. It's a beauty, eh? Um, and then this, it's a Broncos, uh, what is it? A, Broncos members hotline badge or something, I don't know, so hang on, just tap it. So yeah, that was um pretty cool find in the sun. But um, this one is the find of the day. It's a pendant, uh, apparently. It's got a stamp on it. Um, don't know if you can read that. It's a little bit worn, so um, yeah, that was pretty cool. I think it's um, 375, so... And either that or it's 925, it's one or the other. So it looks the chain looks goldish, and so does the the pendant, looks a little bit goldish, sort of silverish. So I don't know, but we'll take that any day. Um, but apart from that, yeah, it was a really good fun. Met some, as I said, met some great people on the beach and just had a really good time. Probably a two and a half hour hunt, wore the old legs out. But anyway, thanks for um, watching and. Um, don't forget to hit the like button if you like it and subscribe. That helps us out. And um, yeah, leave a comment, say hi, and we'll catch you on the next one, eh? All right. Oh, Bye for now. Oh, did you find it? No, no, no. Oh, did you find it? No, no. Because you ain't got a middle detector.